out of the box or out of the wall, whatever you want to call it, we have a Criterion Collection movie called High and Low from Japan. So this is done by a director, Akira Kurosawa, who's done 30, I think, films, and this is one of them. I've seen it before. I really dug it. Let's go rewatch it and see if High and Low is worth your time. Chase Lee Hockey here at the Blue Futon reviewing High and Low. What's about? Pretty simple premise. This is based in 1963 Japan. And there's a shoemaker who has climbed his way up the ladder. And now he's one of the board members. And now he's thinking, you know what? I want this company to myself. So I'm going to buy all these stocks. And I'm going to be the number one holder. However, when he's about to send the check, his son, or he thinks his son has been kidnapped. And now he's got to give that money away. And now, who kidnapped the son? Why? What is going on with this story? And who is going to backstab the shoemaker who wants to just be a good person or just want to be a good person? So, I like this film. Absolutely. I understand how some people might find this movie boring. It is two hours and 23 minutes. And the best TV series I just watched recently that I can compare to this is The Days. And what Japan does with movies like this, they are meticulous with telling you all the details you are needing to do. So some people might be like, there's too much exposition of like, you know, when they're in the police station explaining, all right, where's the car? All right, the drug angle. All right, this angle. All right, the tell booth. All right, this angle. All right, this angle. And you go, you know what? Some people might be like, okay, why do we have to do all this? I enjoy that because it literally shows what goes on behind the scenes. This is not like a CSI where someone gets murdered and 45 minutes later, you are finding out who the killer is. No, this is going to be like, you know what? This takes months. This takes weeks to figure out point A to point B to point C. I think the acting itself is fantastic. The How it's shot, black and white. It almost feels like a play where there's nice zoom in and zoom outs. And there's a lot of one takes in this movie where you're trying to figure out what is going on in these people's psyche. What's on their facial expressions and what is actually going on behind the scenes and front of the scenes. Because there's a lot of cool scenarios where the cops are in the house. And then the board members come in at the same time and the cops are hearing what the board members are saying of like who is actually the dick in this movie because there's a lot of backstabbing in this movie. This movie is also very different of how it was shot. It might be two hours and 23 minutes and you think the whole movie is about the kidnapping. That's not true. I would say the first 45 minutes is about the kidnapping. And then the rest of the movie is, you know what, how are we going to find these bad guys and who else is involved? The police procedures the board members of the shoe company, what are they going to do to this person? And it's really fascinating, and it's very interesting on the different characters involved and what they have to do. The wife, the chauffeur, the other businessmen, the multiple cops, this dance awesome, I'll say it's an awesome dance sequence, which deals with drugs and how they do handoffs. And it's very interesting. And it, looking at a movie like this in Japan in 63 and looking at movies like in the USA in 63, even though American audience never really saw these and vice versa for U.S. movies going to Japan, it's almost interesting that they're almost the same. And it really shows that human characteristics are same in every culture and every country, even though you never met a person. That really shows how humans are really similar in writing and acting and just living life in general. Even in the animal kingdom, it's like, you know, even though the same animal in different parts of the world, you're still going to do the same thing. You still know each thing. I know it's kind of weird to talk about this movie like that, but I just think it's very interesting in the 60s and how movies like this are made through and throughout. And also the ending, you might not get closure, like you want to get closure of why this person did the kidnapping. You just kind of feel like it's about, you know, they think it's unfair without the knowing the people's backgrounds. And this is one of the ones where, the wife was the rich one, and this guy actually started from the bottom, not like Drake, which started like on Degrassi. He actually started from the bottom <clears throat> and made it to the top of this board member uh, position. So even though he was mad at this one guy for actually working his ass off, he doesn't know his backstory that he actually worked his ass off and the money never really came to him. And when you look at what three, was it 50 million won is, I think, if I'm not mistaken, or was it 30 million? It was 30 million in this movie. It's only $208,000. And when you think about that, in 1963, that's a shit ton of money. 
And now that's like my house. It's kind of crazy when you think about what money has gone through in the past 50 years. Absolutely bonkers. But high and low, the story's fantastic. The cinematography's fantastic. The acting's great. There is a very, this is a very great movie. Yeah, you can say there's some pacing issues here and there. But that's very minimalistic. But this is a fine thriller from Japan, 63. I could see that there's a lot of inspiration from movies nowadays. Has there been an actual remake of this? Maybe, but not really called high and low. But movies like this aren't really made anymore. And that's kind of a bummer because sometimes these slow burn, methodical thrillers are just what the doctor ordered. So high and low will receive a four and a half out of five with futons, which equals at 90%. Let's see if the critics new scores gave this one. So you have critics a 96% with 24 of them. Audience score at 95% with over 5,000. No critic consensus. So we're at the 90, 96, 95. Chase the doc here with the blue futon. Like, comment, subscribe. One well, of the things, Topia, you blue Tonys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Now I can watch this tape tomorrow, week from now, month from now, year from now, every single freaking one of you. And I kind of like being told what other jobs are like because we really don't know. Like when we're in our own bubble, we assume we know everything and we don't. And that is what I think about when I actually watch movies like this.